3, 2, 1. Hey there, and welcome to another Dev Does video. Today I am checking out Zed Liar, and the song is Bumi Bergung Khan. Uh, this was a viewer request, and I'm happy to check this out for you. Um, I know nothing about the band, I have no details about the band, I have no lyrics for this song, so it is purely going in blind. There's no official music video either, which is really frustrating. I hate watching reaction, doing reaction videos to anything that's not an official music video, because I think the official music video helps tell the story of the song. So, uh, we're going in kind of just purely, all we've got is the, the actual song itself to work with. So, we're going to get straight into that. I will pause, I will talk. Uh, it's a reaction video, that's what we do. Okay, let's bring it up on screen. There we go. Pop it up, let's check it out. Go! I have my coffee, so I'm okay. Get my uh, medication. Okay, it helps if I uh, unmute the uh, microphone. Sorry, I had to mute the microphone while I was taking my tablets. Otherwise, you'd just get a rattling can going on there. Um, yes, yeah, so I like how it started. I like this kind of almost like group singing thing that's going on, and now it's kind of building into something. So I don't know where it's going. It's a fairly long song at 6 minutes 25. Um, but I get this vibe that I like where this song's di direction is. <laughs> okay, this sounds like like classic eighties like Mel. I'm talking like eighty five, eighty six, maybe even earlier. Like, that crossover between thrash and power metal, like early Pantera, like glam era, power metal, that sort of stuff. There's other bands like, like early Pantera, also a band called Raven sounds just like this. Uh, and they were kind of 82, 83. So I think this came out in 1990. And I am finding this with Indonesian metal stuff that I'm hearing their genre is about five years behind where we were here in the UK. And this is that happens quite a lot with certain genres sort of starting in certain countries and then as it gets transferred, then bands start to play in that similar style and they get onto that music and then they write their own music in that style. And it takes several years for it to progress. So I am seeing quite a lot of that where metal that was written by English bands and stuff in the early 80s, you would see in the later 80s it appearing in places like Malaysia, Indonesia and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it seems to be following a bit of a trend. <laughs> There's a little bit in the vocals reminds me of X Japan. I don't know if it's just me, but that he does sing a little bit like the guy from X Japan. Very cool. I like X Japan. <laughs> Very 
very hooky. I want to sing along, but I don't know what the words are. Now, this is all kind of metal that I grew up with. So I would have got into I got into metal in the 90s, uh, late 80s, early 90s. So I'd have been about 12, 13, listed into early Def Leppard, Raven, Metallica, uh, Megadeth and some heavier, heavier bands, Amphrax as well. So like all the big four thrash bands. Um, and that's when I came across bands like Raven and Venom and stuff like that as well. Um, so this is kind of the stuff that I grew up with for about a three or four year period. That was This was all the bands I was kind of getting into. Then I was also listening to like, I had all the glam rock stuff going. I was just like a big sponge absorbing all this rock and metal. And then I kind of stopped when I hit the 2000s and then stopped listening to anything new that came out. Ba ba ba! Come on, there you go. Okay, we're getting funky bass. I'm <laughs> liking this. This is good. I'm enjoying this. I could have done with more of that. I could have let that bass just get funky as hell. I love bass bass when they could just go nuts and go but funky as hell over a metal song so cool Bam. 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 No, it's like this big fill or something. Really. It's gonna come. It's gonna be a big fill coming up. No. Where was the big, like, massive run? The big fill. Dun da 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 da. Ba ba ba. That's just where it should have gone. That's what should have happened. Not keen on that part of the structure. It was a wasted opportunity. Now, when I say it's a wasted opportunity, it doesn't mean that I don't like what's going on here. I just think the transition between the bit before and going into here was a massive opportunity lost because it could have been done ba 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 bum into a far solo and then let it ring and then go into here would have just lifted it up because that transition slowed down and then slow it just kept slowing down so you kind of lose the interest a little bit at that point Are we going to get a fast section? Come on, let's see where we're going. Classic fresh.
building, it's building. Ah! Power metal. Gotta love that power metal scream. Very cool. All right, let's talk a little bit about the song. So, firstly, there was a little. You'll have, well, you may have noticed that there was a cut in the video uh, stream. I tried to try and match up as close as I can. Uh, basically, I completely ran out of hard drive space on my computer. Uh, as I do video editing, I hadn't realised just how much video footage I had uploaded and doing stuff in the background, and uh, I maxed out my main drive. So I had to just kind of come back in, drop back into the song and kind of pick the end bit up on a video once I cleared up some freed up some space on the hard drive. But anyway, great track. Um it is classic 80s power metal. Um very nicely put together. Interestingly, lots of reverb. It feels like it, it it's not um what I would call a massively well produced. It sounds like it was done kind of in a live environment, so big rooms big sound wasn't about the cleanest the pristine so it came out in 1990 apparently but for me this sounds like an 85 86 uh kind of album uh with that sort of production um but then i'm also thinking about where indonesia was as far as music production as far as where they are versus like what we would call the western world the United Kingdom, America, uh, and the studios are at different levels. So the recording studios in the UK and America were probably in a much better position uh, to get a much cleaner sound. They've, they've been working a lot more with the rock and the metal audiences by that point. So I am seeing a lot of music coming out where the production isn't up to that level. Nowadays, production of what's coming out of Indonesia is very, very good. Uh, but earlier productions of like 90, uh, like 90s to 2000s, the quality isn't always there. Um, but it is what it is. It was a great song though. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Loved his voice. Sounds very much like the guy from Extra Pan. Uh, and the song is very catchy. So uh, yeah, thumbs up from me. Now, if you like the video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like, and share. And that, of course, is how Dave does it.